I've wanted strike specific armor since the beginning of Destiny 2. If you're not familiar with these pieces, they are basically armor pieces directly from bosses. For example, you could get the Tanix Cloak from the Shadow Thief Strike. Now I actually really like the way you could earn these pieces. At the end of every strike, there was a small chance for a skeleton key to drop. These keys can then be used to open a bonus chest at the end of strikes. And some of these strikes did contain armor pieces directly related to the boss. Now here is another look at the Tanix Cloak on a set. Easily one of my favourite cloaks in Destiny and known to be one of the most iconic. Now there was also the Scion Cloak from the Dust Palace Strike. This one was really awesome as in this strike there are three elements of Scion bosses and depending on which one you kill last depends on what elements you will get for the cloak. And then the final two strike pieces that you've seen in the first set of the video are on the helmet and the arms. The helmet is the Hood of Malak from the Blighted Chalice Strike. And as for the arms these are the Mongrel Ogre Grasps from the Abomination heist. Now there were also some strike pieces for Titan and Warlock as well. Here we have the Dark Blade Helm as well as the Maulers. Both of these look fantastic and I especially like this helmet because it gives off a Hive Knight look. There were also three mags for the Titan which all have vastly different appearances. And then finally the Warlock had four armor pieces. These first two being the Devouring Moor Helmet and then the Fear Silent Gauntlets which were a PlayStation exclusive. I especially like the helmet as it has this really cool electric effect. And then the final two pieces were for bonds with the Omnigal bond from the Will of Crota Strike. And then there's the Sepix Depose bond from the Sepix Perfected Strike. I definitely think they should bring this whole skeleton key system back into the strike playlist. It would definitely incentivize people to continuously do strikes. And they could even up the drop rates with the more consecutive strikes you complete. But I would love to hear what you all think of this in the comments and which piece is your favourite. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing for more deaths fashion. Thank you all so much for watching, stay safe and I'll see you all in the next video.